relax themselves in this sort of atmosphere. Well, Arsene Wenger there has never won the League Cup, the Carling Cup as it is now. Jose Mourinho, it was the first trophy that he's lifted as the Chelsea manager. Arsenal sixth appearance in the final, they've won it twice in the days of George Graham. Chelsea playing in the final. Now Makelele stopping him from making uh, Chelsea play, and it's left the two centre-backs with nobody to mark at all in the tournament. And, uh, well, Drogba there is just changing his boots, obviously he's slipped over a, you know, this turf here at the Millennium Stadium, always is very slippery on top, we've had a, you know, a little bit of drizzle today, and Danny Baptista have been dropping off in that midfield to help the other three, has made a, a big problem for Chelsea. Now Drogba gets it through to Shevchenko, back to Lampard, tried to place it, Senderos got an important block in. Defending 1v1 by Cavallo. Chelsea are looking for inspiration, can Balak provide it, there's no offside flag, here's Drogba, and it's level! Drogba gets his 27th goal of the season, the top scorer in the English Premiership, and you have to wonder about Arsenal's defending. Well, they're looking to try and hold a high line there to play him offside, I don't think there's any daylight between Senderos there and Drogba, so quite right, another good decision, but that just shows the calmness of the top goal scorer in the Premiership there. Takes his time, has a look up, knows what he's going to do, and just puts it through the, through the goalkeeper's legs there. Well, it's amazing, they've only had two chances, one that was just blocked by Senderos, and in the next minute, ball to Drogba here, looks up, does he want to play it to anybody? No, he said, I'm going to put this straight through the goalkeeper's legs under Almunia, and it's one all. And now another test for these exciting Arsenal youngsters. He'll settle down, but certainly Chelsea is, are trying to exploit that area without a shadow of a doubt. Through, and Drogba, the 28-year-old Ivory Coast international, scoring Chelsea's equaliser. One moment of... Threads it through for Drogba, whose goal side of Senderos. Saved by Almunier, but he's grateful that no... ...off by Essien. Out to Robin, to run at Abue. Chipped in, Drogba gets a glancing header! And it's a wonderful goal by Drogba! And he puts Chelsea ahead with just over six minutes left. Plus whatever time he's added. And that's goal number 28 for the season for the Chelsea striker. Well, it, it was a fantastic header, but the quality of the cross made it easy for him. And the ball finishes up, Arsenal give it away here. And then we see Fabregas dive in, he's out of the game now. And then Robin looks up, and the cross is superb. Loads of pace on it. All that Drogba needs to do is get across the front of his man and just get a glance on it. He gets across Senderos. Almunia no chance, but it's the quality of that ball from Aaron Robin there which makes it... Not easy, but certainly makes it a lot easier for Drogba there to actually direct that ball into the far corner of the net. What a season it is for the Premiership's top goal scorer. 60 best young squad in Europe. But this has been a, a severe test for them against this very experienced Chelsea side. And it's Shevchenko! And he smashed that against the angle of post and bar. Well, we haven't seen a lot of him in this game, and I've been quite disappointed with him, but that just shows what he's got. Good header from Drogba, great strike, keeper no chance, and inches away from finishing this tie. Find the net, otherwise there would have been an argumentative post-mortem. Headed down by Drogba, Shevchenko. You can see that uh, Chelsea are just oozing confidence at the moment here, Sh Shevchenko. Nobody to cut it back to him with the defensive clearing header. And there's the final whistle! And Chelsea have come from behind with two goals from Didier Drogba to win the Carling Cup final. But it will be remembered for the scenes in the last few minutes rather than the quality of the football and the goals that won it. As a handshake between the two managers, Theo Walcott is devastated having put Arsenal ahead after 12 minutes but it was the Premiership's top goal scorer Didier Drogba who had the final word, equalising before half-time, and then with the glancing header in the end. Substitute, both sent off, and John Mikel, the Nigerian, who'd come on as a substitute,
for Chelsea. He was sent off too. In addition to that, we counted at least seven yellow cards flourished by Howard Webb in a game that ought to be remembered for the quality of the football and the bravery of Arsene Wenger, who's never lifted this League Cup. A football League ambassador. Didier Drogba leads the Chelsea players forward. Uh, I think uh, Drogba also has been awarded the man of the match as well, which you expect for the man who scored the two goals, and of course the second one being the winning goal to win that trophy. And receiving that trophy, the Alan Hardacre Trophy for man of the match, awarded by 